I have arrived in Perush and it's a medieval village right set up high up on the hill looking down on the plain it's a stunning little city and you can stay up here Let's walk through the village so you can see it. Hopefully my battery holds out. You could have a little house here. I, I especially sought out the, well, some of the most beautiful villages in France, in rural France. And this is on the list of what they call beautiful French vis uh, villages. It's listed as a beautiful French village. You can hear the church up there. It's Saturday today, so it's not calling the faithful to pray, but it's an amazing church anyway. So, like many medieval cities, it's walled, so the gates could be closed for protection. And sometimes you see old stone like that with the water drained out and you can have a drink at this amazing church so I'm going to go through the gates here it's all cobbles uh, which aren't that pleasant to walk on you need to put either hiking boots or really good track shoes with souls. Uh, here's the map. It's very bright. I can't really see very well what I'm filming. But anyway, that, that's the extent. So we're coming into the church. The gate. The gate by the church. It's truly beautiful. And as I say, medieval. Let's go in. I'm holding my shopping and my backpack and the camera, so if I'm a bit shaky, that's why. Uh, it's quite dim inside. Okay. Very classically, almost Norman in design, unlike many of the churches where I live which are more Baroque. See, it's super classic, just, just that focal point of the windows. But it's super old. You can see how thick the walls are. If I go back here, you'll be able to see this window. is literally made of the rock on which it stands. Okay, so maybe the camera will adjust. To... It's so cool in here. It's been hot that there's a lovely breeze, but in here it's so cool. It's about 10 degrees cooler than it is outside. I'm not going to linger long. Just wanted to give you little idea. If you're keen and you'd love to see this beautiful uh, Renaissance, sorry, medieval, not Renaissance, medieval church, then you can come and visit it. Spend as much time as you want for the purposes of the video. I'm going to keep it short because we're walking through the village. So I want to reserve some space for that. But I will show you this little keyhole window. I love the way the light hits the floor. It's very monastery-like and quiet and not very ornamented. Okay, here's a little window. It's a keyhole, you see?
then we can continue walking through the village uh, and I'll show you just some of the highlights and yes I walked up from the little town where the train station is yesterday when I arrived and with my luggage and everything it's just under two kilometers it took me I don't know 20 minutes just because I was lugging heavy luggage but it may be different for you anyway from up here on the track you see Perouche and uh, let's go down here there's a doggy lee being left outside the church while his owners look at the church and then you come through these gates and immediately you're met with this renaissance dream it is truly wonderful the village has been kept in a style no new buildings are allowed to be built obviously they can renovate interiors but you know for the rest it's really um, it's a beautiful old renaissance village I'm trying to remember when I came in yesterday I went to the little ice cream shop where this lady helped me I'll see if I can do that now and go and say hello to her because she was so kind and helped me with directions and in fact the hotel had given me her directions and I had to walk back down the hill look how beautiful this architecture and so I was exhausted by then because I travelled from Lyon and she very kindly said oh well if they won't come and fetch you leave your luggage here and then suddenly she took off because that's beautiful French flags that's a memorial to the fallen um, of the world wars I imagine this gorgeous architecture of the church stunning red roses everywhere it's very French architecture I adore this beautiful old tree knotted and mold but look how lovely I love that French blue the windows and the red roses it's just my dream God, I'd love to live in a building like this I think I think I'll die happy there's a wisteria growing up but right here is this typical that is everywhere and this lovely French blue that I love so much in the doors and we'll just have a little peek in here we're not allowed to go in it's somebody's garden but yeah there's lots of um, hydrangeas and stone walls gorgeous doors I love the architecture look at the tree Lovely. Anyway, I'll keep going around here, see if I can find that's the back of the church. It's such a typical country French village, very small. I don't know the inhabitants, I'm going to ask, but I imagine possibly less than a thousand. And look how amazing it is. Um, it's a little courtyard here. It's just a dream. Little courtyard here where you can have breakfast. Somebody's little. I mean, I don't need a garden bigger than that. That would be perfect for me. Put some of my roses around. But equally, I'd be happy living in an apartment there. It's lovely. So I just have to find my bearings to find the ice cream shop because I'm slightly lost. I'm just going to wander around till I find it. It's wonderful. And so people come from all around to see Perouge. It's As I mentioned, it's on the list of the most beautiful villages in France. And as I probably also mentioned, and I'll mention again, it's just out of Lyon in the Alps uh, Rhone region. Okay, we'll go along here. Uh, it's all cobbled, so. If you're going to come, then you need to put hiking boots or really good. Oh, look at this gorgeous 
interior <laughs> door. Oh God! The windows, everything is so incredibly beautiful. Then you come around here, it's a very classical village. All the shops have the same look and feel. The buildings haven't been made to look old, they, they have been here since medieval times. And they've just done the minimum to make them, you know, livable. But I love it. It's so authentic and so gorgeous. And you can see the lady going there something. It's truly lovely. And then here is a lovely restaurant. These lovely old buildings. I love the geraniums, so fabulous. And you can sit and have lunch in there. Yeah. This is the kind of main square, there's this gorgeous tree, and then you, it's out of a dream. Once I put down my camera, look at the grapes hanging. And you sit on the ground and have lunch or a beer, glass of wine. It's out of heaven. Um, I'm so happy I found it because. And look at the corn hanging from the As soon as I'd found it, no sooner had I found it when I realized that if I wanted to live in a French village, this would be it. It is truly stunning. And the old Renaissance. That's normal. Bonjour. Every part of it, every corner of it is, is a dream, and so this may be my new village, people. Do love it. You have to walk, obviously, uh, one and a half kilometers down the hill to get to the train station, or maybe two, but I think I could stretch that far. Um, to live here, up, up on the hill in a medieval village. I'm always terrified when I photograph these things, that it means that I'm kind of making sure that perhaps more and more tourists will come and it will ruin it. But I'm pretty sure this has been here forever. And the kind of tourists who ruin things perhaps don't want to be halfway up a mountain. But maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but it is, as I say, on the list of one of France's most beautiful villages. Look at it over there. Gosh, it's stunning. When I finish filming this, I need to take some photos because, and then you go down there, which is I believe where the ice cream shop possibly is. Yeah. Isn't it stunning? Yeah. And then everyone having lunch here, out on the veranda. There are various places you can stay, you can do your own research, but this low-hanging tree that the children climb on is the absolute joy of the place. Um, isn't it a gem? Oh, it's just stunning. And you can go lunch here. You can read that. Incredibly gorgeous. Let me see if I can. Slightly enlarged, that's it. Perhaps read it. Yeah. But it is, I, I don't think for many years I've seen such fine examples of the Renaissance. Lovely timber work and the leaded windows. And it's all authentic, none of it's reproduction. Just in case you're wondering, 
you Hollywood types. Um, I'm pretty sure that movies have been made here, or tried to have been made if the French would let it happen. I'm sure they would, but anyway, every corner is a picture in itself, this lovely rose. Um, but I think one of the most marvellous things is this grapevine, which is so prolific. Um, producing its hanging grapes, which I presume somebody's going to harvest. So it's lovely. Yeah. So let's head towards the ice cream shop and I'm going to end this here while you just enjoy this beautiful square as I turn around in it and tell me what you like the best. The wisteria growing up there, something else. It is so beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I'm incredibly lucky. If you look out toward there in that gap there, you look out to the plane that goes down to Mirimu and the train and life, normal life, but up here, and there's another gorgeous weeping mulberry over there, that tree over there where you can sit, or you can sit under this shady tree or walk down that shop. It's too amazing. And, yeah, I'm completely in love with this place. I think that much is obvious. And so I'm going to say see you on the next one. And please like the video, please comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. But more than anything, just like the video. I make them so that you guys can enjoy them and I take you with me. And a like is, is valuable to me, and a comment even more so. See you on the next one. Bye from Amanda here in France, where I'm having a wonderful time. Bye. Bye, everyone.